Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Machine Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video, what we're going to see is how we can activate the simulation in the software. So let's go to the presentation. Ba -ba -ba -da -da. Yep, this one much better. So basically, the idea of the simulation is to activate in our computer um, a PLC, a virtual PLC, so we can connect to it when we launch it. So if we have, for example, these three PLCs, we can activate a simulated or virtual PLC so we can download our code and test our logic. And the process is very simple, basically. We just need to go to, once we selected the, the controller that we want to simulate, okay, we just need to go online select simulation and then we can see the this check next to the simulation so it means that that controller selected allowed us to to have it in in a virtual way so we can connect later so once the simulator is launched we must connect to it so we can download our code then this machine will appear which is the machine expert underscore simulation that will be our virtual controller okay and if we go to let me just change the view and if we go to the selected controller we can see in the communication settings this device okay simulation device a machine expert simulation you can see the node name is the same node name that we have over here okay so let me just go to some parts of the presentation da -da 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 -da. Okay, good. So once you have the configuration, you have downloaded the application, you can see the different ways of to see the code. Basically, here you can have the ladder, here you can have the text, and here you can have the CFC. Part of this we have already seen it okay before, so I don't go in more details, but actually if you have the application, you can see the content of the values of the variables. Then we have already logged in okay so if we log into the controller and we need to close everything we need to log out so once log in we have the log out button that basically the idea behind all this so now what i want to do is to show you how we can do this so as you can see here i have three different controllers okay in the top part here you can select which is the actual application that you want to do to make the login so um, you can select over here and you can see this one is bold if i select enter for one this one is bold and if you want to do this without using this option you just need to go to application tree and select for example like this right click set active application based on that it's automatically changed this okay you can see in there it's in bold so I'll go here and it changes so what i want to show you now is how to activate the simulation so i need to hide myself otherwise you are not able to see it there we go so if you go online okay simulation and you can see here on the bottom that we have the simulation so it will activate the device and if i know wrong there is this software, let me just have a check, soft SPS that it creates the PLC, it's in the other part of the screen. Uh, it's in the other part of the screen. So you can see in the bottom right corner of the screen that you have a small square uh, with some lights over there and you can right click on it and then you can start or stop that PLC so uh, if you double click on my controller or the controller you have selected okay you can see that we have this one simulation device and you have the machine expert simulation okay I have these two because this one is the physical that I have and this one is another device on my network so if we connect with this one with already in simulation Okay, it's, you have this message, okay, which is a simulation, login, 
this is the message that you will have because there is nothing there it's always empty yes we can download to the controller okay uh ta -ta -ta. this is a previous application had the load okay mm -hmm. now should we delete okay and there we go we can we are in the plc and you can see here the plc system stop so we need to start it okay and the plc is in run so if we go to our code applications and you can see the the task configuration is running and if you go over here uh, uh, da, 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 this one here you can see that it's running okay the discounting is doing something okay so as you can see here if you go to the device tree you can see that the inputs and outputs are not working at all because it's a simulation but if you need to recreate a logic in your code i believe this is a good solution for you okay and pay attention here there is uh, an internal variable that uh, system value for the controller it's uh, activated in each second and here it's not working okay in the simulation uh, the other thing that we need to check da, 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 is what happened you may not know but in the controller we had the possibility to assign the user rights so what happened if you assign the user right to this simulated controller so online security uh, enable the user right uh, no. uh, let me just remember how it was uh, users perfect here if you go users and groups activate now yes you can activate the user for that uh, virtual controller that we have um administrator administrator oops i did it wrong administrator administrator just a bit check so as you have on the physical controller we're going to see later they have security so if we can also activate the security to this virtual plc this virtual plc can be any plc so we need to be aware when we change between different controllers to be connected so administrator administrator okay so i need to log into this controller administrator again administrator. okay i'm logging into this controller which is a simulated controller so we're going to log out going to log in again and there is no issue so now if we log out and select another controller for example this one m251 and we try to log into the simulation simulation login administrator administrator okay it asks us for this particular um, credential so once you activate it on this virtual controller it just is valid for all the devices that you want to use so i connect it again using the all the controller the m251 the virtual m251 so it use a generic um it's like a um, generic uh, plc so you can connect so if you activate the credentials it will be valid for all the controllers that you're trying to connect with okay so one way to disable this um as explained over here in the part of the presentation okay we just need to close all the instance of machine expert okay and also the bgl designer in case you have it so i'm going to close this I don't want to make any changes okay okay yes 
going to close all this and then I'm going to go to this folder and remove the uh, that part so C program data let me just minimize all this do, do, do. Program data, program data. Program data. call the sys here we have this folder the simulation so we just need to remove it delete it okay this is one way to sort it out the issue da, 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 da. then open the machine expert once again so when we try to connect we shouldn't receive that message to login let's log in the other side of the screen Hold on a second. Okay. So now we need to let's open the last application that we have that we opened. Okay, just move this over here. And train in. Okay, there we go. So what I'm going to do now is to select the, um, the M262 once again. So I'm going to close all this. When it's finished, okay. Here, application, my controller, okay. This one, M262. Now I need to enable again the simulation. Um, you cannot see it, but now yes. Okay, you can see there that you have the simulation. So we can log in again and when we do this it didn't ask me for any credential yes i want to log in yes there's no nothing there mm -hmm, mm -hmm. select and there we go we are back again with the controller okay so we can simulate our code and make the logic and see if it works or not okay we're gonna see later the different ways of debugging that we have but first i want to show you how we can access to the simulation and how we can sort out the problem of the credentials that we may have using all these parts so we have already made this part enter the simulation connect to the virtual and activate the user rights so uh, da, da, da. so i believe we cover everything that we need that i needed to show you how to activate and how to connect and how to sort it out the problem so this is it for the simulation later we're going to see different ways of debugging so thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one